Hey y'all. So I just got done. I just got done my walk. I didn't go too far today because it's kind of uh, it's kind of late, and I'm not. Well, it's not that late, but I'm not trying to get stuck in the dark. <laughs> but um, yeah, somebody had posted something about rest. I had reposted it. Um, it was a few days ago. Um, but I actually wanted to talk about this topic because um, last week. I was actually speaking with a client during our session and um, he was just talking about how, you know, he just wants to just like not do nothing on the weekend because he's just been like very, very, very busy with work. And so he just wanted to do nothing. And then I was like, um... What did I say? I was like, oh, I was like, well, that's good. Like, um, you can have a lazy day. And I said, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Not lazy day. Like, a day of rest. And then we just got into this conversation about, like, where did that term come from? Like, lazy day. You know? Because if you're someone who actually works hard and, you know, um, you're living a fruitful life and things like that, you get tired and you deserve to rest. And the fact that we are speaking lazy over our lives, what is that actually doing to our spirit? What is that doing to our mental? Like, okay, there is life and death in the power of the tongue. And it's like, what are we doing when we speak um, over ourselves? And if you're someone that doesn't really um, believe in that there's power in words, um, actually look up, oh my gosh, I don't even know the name of it, but... Um, if you, words can actually change the structure of water. So if you have like a cup of water and then, um, you speak positive words about it, it actually, the structure of it is very like, it comes together, it forms into different things. You speak negative over it. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's crazy. Um, there was actually, I saw this, um, this one video, it was an um, experiment. Um, people look took um, rice I think it was like cooked rice or something like that and they um, wrote words over it like happy and ugly or something like that and um, and one of the one of the jars of rice got moldy like and the other one was completely fine so it's just so interesting but um, and then obviously when you speak negative things to another person that hurts their feelings right like it affects them it it they start to believe that so it's like we don't want to put those things in ourselves um so yeah you deserve to rest you know um hey god rested after seven days i mean look at his creation look at the detail that was hard work you know think about all the hard work that you guys are doing every single day every week every month rest 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 and no more saying that lazy day stuff. Like, no more lazy day. You're having a rest day. Rest day. Rest day. A day of rest. Alright, that's all I just wanted to uh, say. <sighs> but other than that, yeah. I'm on my way home now. And I'm going to be making me a... I actually ate my biggest meal for the day so I really don't eat much like well what did I have today I did have a huge bowl of salad um that was like my big meal for the day already um I really don't eat breakfast honestly oh I eat when I'm hungry basically um I did have I did make me some um some tahini dip and I threw some sunflower seeds in there, so that was just like my, I don't know what you call it, like a little dessert or something. Hey, Jess. And, um, what else did I eat? Yeah, that was pretty much it besides a big bowl of salad, so I'm going to make me a watermelon slushy when I get home. It's just watermelon, lime. This watermelon wasn't that sweet, so I will put a little bit of agave in it. It's going to taste so amazing. I'll uh, show y'all guys. Alright, well, I'm going to 
gonna let y'all go. Love you. Have a blessed evening, and I hope y'all sleep well tonight.